burning. I got all the buttons going. Let's go. Watch on, eyes on, on. Big, big stretches. We got 41 minutes on the clock. <laughs> pinky finger, pinky toe, nice and straight. Keep those legs straight, hinge at those hips. And side to side. Sink it down. Relax. Get that stretch in. Side to side, pressing through those heels to transfer your weight. So today I think is going to be very much fun. I'm very excited. Then again, I say there's no cardio and then we die. So I'm not quite sure what's gonna happen. Put those feet right, make those hips drop, those shoulders squat and squeeze. Get those arms involved. <coughs> we do have a few burpees today. We haven't had burpees in a long time, like, so we're gonna get our fill today probably for the week. So get those feet, roll those shoulders, hinge and walk it on out. Make sure those hands are right with those shoulders and open up, keeping that back leg as straight as you can. <sighs> Using that core to transfer your legs. We're gonna find that plank. Walk it back, roll it up. Roll those shoulders, start that jog. So, we have a burpee plank jack as our power move today, but it is not 60 seconds a clip. All right, jack it up. It starts at 40 and decreases every time we do it. So, not completely horrible. Just slightly horrible. We got those high spins up next. In three, in two, and let's go. So we're gonna warm up our 22 push-ups to jacked. That's a minute 15. You seem to be good with that number. Then we're going to start off with that 40 seconds of burpee plank jacks. <clears throat> Whatever speed you want. Shoulders down, knees down, heels up. Kick your butt. Then our first block is on the floor. We got a modified side plank pendulum. We got a weighted bridge. The other side modified plank and plank to toe reach. <coughs> Standing bicycles, or steamrollers, whatever. The wider they are, the more glute activation, core, obliques, we do an obliques in the third block. We got Frankenstein's size up next in three, in two, and breathe. And we have a, our core block at the end is three exercises. We're gonna go through them three times. So it's just a little bit longer. Two. And those mummies, drop those shoulders. Drop those shoulders, core. I can feel them creeping up into my ears. In 
three, and two. Shake it on out. All right, 22 push-ups. Start on your toes. Drop two knees when you have to. Or you can be elevated. You can be on that bench. Two, plank it out, let's go. Because there is 
no momentum in this game. Three, two, dumbbell down, other side plank. So now I'm on my left side, modified, up, stacked, and let's go. Move that leg. So, taking a swing out of your leg movement, trying to keep it even with your hip. Shoulder stack, hip stacked, your obliques are working. Seven more seconds. Three, two, and breathe. You got 10 seconds. So plank to toe reach. So hands underneath those shoulders, spread those feet a little bit wider. You're gonna reach for that toe. Bring it back to plank, let's go. So, the secret to this one is to come back to that plank super slow, super slow, put your hand down softly. It's all control and how your core is moving. Really try to get that tailbone to the ceiling to reach your toe. Pushing the ground away from you with those hands. And breathe back to that right side plank. Gotta go one, one time more. Ooh, and then we're doing this again later. Ooh, good times. Pick it up. That little left leg is moving. Front to back. Squeezing that glute. So your lower abs are tight. Breathing through the movements, you got three, two, and breathe. Grab that dumbbell. Feet down, dumbbell at your hips. Plant those feet on the floor, up and down, let's go. Down and squeeze, up and squeeze. So you're pressing through those heels, squeezing the glutes. Make it more challenging. Get your feet away from your glutes a little bit. Three, two, and breathe. You got that other side. Modify that side. Leg up. Let's go. See, I'm looking at my my zone heart rate monitor right now and it's in the low 50s. This is why my brain, I don't like to do side planks or yoga or you know stuff that's good for you because I'm all about the heart rate. Green, yellow, red zones. It's not the way to think, core. Come on, three, two, and breathe. We're back to that plank one more time. So, Feet right outside the hips. Push that ground away from you. Tighten that core. Let's go. Push that ground away from you so your shoulders are raised a little bit. Come back to that perfect plank position. And breathe. All right. Whew. Stand on up. So now we're going to a 30 second burpee plank jack. All right. Three, two, 30 seconds. Let's go. So when I jump back to plank, I put my feet together so I can jack it. And then when I come up, my feet are a little bit wider. What you do, you. Think about those obliques when you're doing that plank jack. And breathe. All right. 
One dumbbell. I'm gonna get my 10. It's gonna be in your right hand. Watch me. It's a right reverse to a squat, press, rotate, squat, reset. All right? We have this for a minute. Shoulders, feet. Let's go. Right reverse lunge. Stand wide, squat, press, rotate. Bring it, squat, stand, reset. Reverse, stand wide, squat, press, rotate. Bring it down to a squat, set for that lunge. We only do whew, this block once, which is good, because you know we have a minute on this side. Rawr! We have a minute on the other side. Seven more seconds. Slow and control. Feel everything. Two, and breathe. Dumbbell down. 25 seconds of scissor runs. Let's go. So, nice tall spine. Tighten the core. Squeeze the glutes on the balls of your feet. You can just let everything loose and move your legs for cardio. But I want you to keep everything engaged. It's a short period of time. Three, two, Breathe. Pick up that dumbbell in the left hand. We have a minute on the left. Left reverse, squat, rotate, press. Let's go. Squat, rotate, press. Bring it down to a squat. Taking that second after that second squat to reset your balance. Oh, come on. Seven more seconds. Yes, you can. I know those legs are getting tired. I had a lot of squatting going on. Two, and breathe. Dumbbell down. We have cross jacks. Two for 25. Let's go. Tighten that core. Really squeeze it, drop those shoulders. Strong arms. <coughs> Three, two, breathe. All right. 20 seconds for a B plank jack. So catch your breath, we got another 20 seconds. Make it heavy. Not heavy? Get two dumbbells. 
floor chest press. All right, then we go to a right wood chopper. We have a kneeling rainbow and a left wood chopper. Pick her up, pick her up, let's go. Make sure you're wiggling those toes on that squat. Keep that chest up. Whether you hit the floor or not, I don't care. As long as your chest is forward, looking straight ahead. Four, two, breathe. All right, I'm gonna see if I can keep this dumbbell for a right, right wood chopper, standing. Right hip, left shoulder, let's go. Oh God, this could, could be a bad decision. So it's heavier, you just gotta go slower to make sure you're not throwing your back out and you're not losing your grip, right? The heavier the dumbbell, the bigger the ends. Your hand is only so big. Three, two, breathe. Keeping that dumbbell, we have a kneeling rainbow. Set. Let's go. Shoulders 
and core and glutes and calves. Come on. We don't just work one muscle at a time. Hell no. And breathe. One more wood chopper on the left hip, right shoulder. Let's go.
So this round, I want you to really think about slowing it down from the shoulder to the hip. Exhale, bring it down. Woo, come on. Tighten that core, slowly bring it back to starting. Three, two, kneeling rainbow. All right, kneel it down, let's go. That's it. Steady pace wins the race. chopper one more time. Woo, left hip, right shoulder, let's go. Throw it up, slowly bring it back down. Using those obliques, your back. Ten more. plank jack in three in two and go right into it let's go you're a tough guy that's right we're tough we know it and breathe all right your core block, three exercises. You're gonna need two dumbbells. I'm gonna get my tens. We have a chest press bicycle. So a leg goes out, arm goes up and down, all right? Your legs and your arms are moving opposite. Drop one dumbbell, we have a dumbbell sit up. You're gonna hold it against your chest and sit up. Then you're gonna stay seated and we're gonna do that Russian twist for number three. All right, get those dumbbells, let's go. So chest press, legs. Yes, you probably could go heavier, but this you do a lot of reps and we have it three times. So, don't be a hero, right? Three, two, one dumbbell down. You're gonna put one dumbbell on your chest and hold your elbows. Let's go, sit up, shh, and down. So I cross my arms, holding the dumbbell, right on my upper boob. Doesn't feel all that good, but. Uh, whew. Whew. Sit all the way up. Four, three, oops, two, stay seated. Grab that dumbbell, Russian twist. So you can keep your feet on the floor, drop those shoulders, lean back, let's go. Tap, center, tap. No speed. Those knuckles, if you can, reach the floor. Keep those knees right center. <coughs> Three, two, grab that other dumbbell back to those chest press bicycles. Let's go. So it doesn't matter what arm is up, what leg is down, or out, whatever. What matters is your lower back is on the floor. Legs come in, if your lower back starts coming up, then your legs just go a little bit higher. Your back is good, legs are a little lower. Keep pumping those arms, a lot of reps happening. Two, and one dumbbell down, one at your chest. Cross your arms over it, hold your elbows. 
Palms up, heels down, let's go. Nice controlled breathing along with your core, with your movements. Two, and dumbbell down. Since we're seated, let's just stay here and get that butterfly. Grab those ankles, pull your shoulders down and back. Open up your chest, squeeze those shoulder blades together. Trying to get those knees to the floor. We're getting better. Oof. One leg out, cross one foot over, opposite elbow goes to the outside of the knee. And inhale, exhale, trying to rotate through the spine. And release, other leg, put it up, get that elbow there. Every inhale, exhale, you should turn just a smidge more. Release, feet go out, grab those toes, pull them forward, keeping your back as straight as you can. One more nice deep breath here. We're gonna go to tabletop for bird dog. Come on, not bird dog. We're gonna do cat cow first. Hands underneath, knees underneath, tuck those toes and arch that back, forehead to the ceiling, tailbone to the ceiling. And cat, tuck everything under. Belly button to spine, get that spine curved and up. Back to neutral, bird dog. We got two on each side. All about balance, not speed. The stronger your core is, the easier bird dog becomes. Tuck those toes, get it back. Walk those hands back, tuck that chin, roll her up. Roll those shoulders. They need it after that one. Ooh. Grab one arm, bring it over. 
and grab that elbow. Ooh. Bring it on over. So tomorrow, July Tuesday, if you have any suggestions, I'd like to hear them. Even if they're exercises that we do all the time and you like them or you feel them or we haven't done them in a while, let me know. Sometimes I get a little brain dead and I think I'm just doing the same over and over and over and over again. But really, exercise is only about seven, seven things. So therefore, we repeat. Thank you.